Okay, everyone, I want to go ahead and get started. Seems we've had a few more people join us. So once again, thank you all for coming today. My name is Isabel Kunz. I'm the veterinary specialist for Juniper Systems. I'm really excited to be speaking with you all today about electronic record keeping and veterinary practices and to be introducing the Ember Equine software solution. Just a quick reminder, all audience members are in listen only mode, which means your microphone is muted. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns throughout the presentation, you can either use the question feature or the chat feature in the webinar menu to give us that feedback. If we have time at the end, I'll try to discuss a few of the questions that came up and anything else, I'll personally follow up with any, anyone um, in case we don't have time to cover it today. So I just wanna give you all a brief overview of what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to try and keep this webinar fairly short because I know you are all quite busy. So hopefully this will only take about a half hour. I'm going to briefly introduce our company and share how we ended up working in veterinary software. Then we're going to discuss the challenges of paper records and the benefits of switching to electronic records. Finally, we're going to spend a bit of time talking about our software, do a little bit of a um, demonstration, and discuss how the software actually addresses those challenges and provides benefits. The end we'll have that bit of time for questions um, depending on how time goes. So just to start a bit of an introduction on our company Juniper Systems. Um, you may or may not have heard of us. We're based out of Logan, Utah, so just a little bit north of Salt Lake City um, and we've been around for about 30 years creating and manufacturing products for data collection in rugged field environments. Our company has become pretty well known as data collection experts across many industries, including natural resources, public utilities, and agriculture. While working on a solution for producers on large dairy farms, some of our employees began to notice the amount of paper records being used by vets and their technicians. Eventually, this led us to working with industry experts to develop an electronic data collection system specifically for animal health records in varying environments called Ember. Before I get too excited and dive into the details of our products, I want to discuss a bit more about those paper records I mentioned. So if any of you have dealt with paper records in a veterinary environment, a few pain points probably come to mind. I want to discuss those a bit further and then consider how those electronic records can be used to address such problems. As we go through this, um, I'd love to hear your impact, input, so please feel free to add in your personal experiences um, by posting a comment, whether you can relate to the paper problems, or if your practice has already had some success in an electronic record keeping system. So as we know, keeping paper records causes a variety of challenges for vets, which you're probably well aware of. Working outside along large animals just is not conducive to writing on paper. I'm sure at some point everyone has experienced losing an important piece of paper when it gets soaking wet, stomped in the mud, spotted with something foul or chomped on by a curious patient. Then of course with the time consuming issues with transcribing records in messy handwriting, hauling around binders full of paper, and trying to organize it all when you get back to the office. For example, I've personally witnessed a horse take a bite out of their own exam form and seen a binder full of farm records get destroyed in a rainstorm. I'm sure you all have um, some similarly unfortunate experiences of your own. So how can technology address these paper problems in veterinary practices? Well, first off, using electronic records means you have far better access to your data. Just a few clicks on a computer or mobile device and you have what you're looking for. In one recent study, 93% of vets were able to store and retrieve patient data faster when using an electronic system compared to paper methods. Even if you are one that finds himself able to organize your paper records well enough to access things quickly, you still probably end up spending more time trying to share those paper records with other staff members or clients. An electronic record system can easily replace the process of scanning, printing, and faxing paper records. When everyone in your practice has access to the data they need, it makes sharing that data a really seamless process. While saving time is always great, managing that time is also vital for busy practices. 
Managing an electronic calendar alongside your digital records really makes sense. Appointment scheduling and task management features can be integrated with electronic record keeping systems to keep everyone on top of the day's tasks in real time. Now all that saved time can be directly used to see more patients each day, resulting in higher profitability. Money can also be managed better overall with an electronic system. Of course, you wanna be paid for all the hard work you do, but if someone forgets to write down a charge, does so in poor handwriting, or loses a single piece of paper, it's really easy to miss something when it comes time to send invoices. With a comprehensive electronic record keeping system, practices are less likely to miss a charge or build service. Finally, and most importantly, the benefits of electronic record keeping can be tra translated into better patient care. The profitability that I just mentioned can be turned into better education for your staff and improved services for your clients. Digital records can also provide a clearer and more complete view of patient history, enabling vets to make better care decisions. When you are actually collecting patient data, prompts and required fields on the electronic record ensures that details aren't overlooked and every exam results in a more complete medical history. That patient history is then backed up so it can't be misplaced like a paper record and can easily be shared with another vet or owner through a simple email. If we look at things on a much larger scale, there's also benefits. Electronic record keeping in humans has been demonstrated to improve tracking the disease within a population and greatly increases the amount of data available to researchers. So now that we've discussed the benefits of switching from paper to digital records, I wanna change gears and introduce our own solution, the Ember Equine software system. As we discussed earlier, this program was developed as a collaboration between Juniper Systems data collection experts and multiple large animal vets. The system itself has two parts, the software and the electronic device or devices used to run the software. The tablet you see in this image is actually a super rugged handheld computer that's made by Juniper Systems, but it just represents one of the many device options for the software. I'll talk more about those hardware options a bit later, but for now, let's focus on the software side of things. This software has a ton of great features, but for the sake of time, I'm gonna focus on a few of the main benefits provided by the software. Our whole idea of creating this software was to replace the paper records and notebooks carried around by vets. As you will see, the software is designed to actually replace your current paper records making it really easy to switch to a digital practice. The data is also just as easy to get it out of the software as it is to get in with really advanced reporting and exporting features. Wireless syncing of data across multiple devices and cloud-based data backup also make sharing and securing your data a breeze. So I'm gonna dive in a bit more on each of those features now. So I first mentioned this idea of custom form creation. We're gonna start here because this is where we really start with most of our customers. The software was created to be really dynamic and user friendly. It should only take a minute for a user to open the program, find an exam and start collecting exam data. This doesn't really appear to be the case with a lot of other software out there. So we decided to make sure that we build the forms based on the needs of each user. So time isn't wasted wading through unnecessary features and senseless workflows. These forms can be chosen from default options, designed from your existing paper records, or built up entirely from scratch based on what you need. Each type of form or record is populated with a variety of field types, including numeric keypads, free text keyboards, multiple choice, date and time, attachment. There's quite a few, so I won't name them all. Once a form is created, they're really easy to update and edit. It's easy to change, add, or delete fields as needed, or create new forms entirely once the software is already in use. So this screen that you see to the right is actually a screenshot from the software um, that the user would be able to access and edit or change around their forms as they need. Um, but then as form creators, um, from our side, we also work to build these initial forms for you, which we'll get into a bit more. 
But this customization means that you can have records for pretty much anything in the software, from a record of a vaccine to a really specific pre procedure or an array of different exam types. You can also set up profiles for different animal species if you have a mixed practice and have certain types of forms be only accessible to certain species, such as bovine, canine, equine, whatever it may be. So really the customization makes the software's capabilities pretty limitless. Now, I mentioned this ability to create forms from existing paper records. For example, the records you see here are from an actual customer who's an equine reproduction specialist. On the left, you can see his original paper log of mare cycle management exam data. On the right, you can see the electronic version we created in Ember. By designing the software around a customer's existing records, it makes it much easier to transition from paper to electronic records, which is something that a lot of people really fear having to deal with. Now that we've seen a little bit of how these forms are created, I want to give you a little preview of the software in action. Now, please bear in mind, the software may look a little different for each user based on their preferences. Today, I'm just going to be working from a demonstration account with some example data preloaded into it. Unfortunately, for the sake of time, I won't be able to demonstrate all of the features and capabilities of the software during this webinar, but I just want to give you a quick taste of how the software actually looks and runs. Um, so for this demonstration, let's just say we're doing one of those mare cycle management exams that we created um, for this customer um, using this paper record. So I apologize for that brief pause there. Switching between different applications on a live webinar can be a little difficult. Um, but when you first open the software, you're going to see this um, really simple main menu. We like to keep things really simple and clean so you can get right to work. From here, you have three main options. You can start your work, quickly run a report, or search from any um, of your data options that you have. But let's say we're just headed out for some ambulatory visits and ready to start our work day. From this screen, you can see a list of existing locations or add a new location. These can be physical locations, different herds on one property, or whatever makes the most sense for you to actually organize your patient data. Now here you can select a location or multiple locations and check out your to-do list um, of appointments and tasks based on those different locations. Now, I don't want to spend too much time working on those to-do lists today. Um, so for now, let's just go back to that mare exam I mentioned. So I know the horse that I'm seeing today is located at the Juniper Stables Broodmare Barn. So I go ahead and select that location. And now I have this full list of different animals at this location. In this case, it's only mares, signified by the pink horse icon. But you can have, like I said, all different types of animals, and you can assign different icons to them as you'd like. You can also see the contact associated with each of those animals concisely added under that animal's name. Now, I know that the horse I want to see today is named Diva. Um, but if this was a longer list and I didn't see her at the top, we could easily search for that animal as well. So once I have my animal, I'm going to select it. And I'll automatically have a full view of all of the records associated with that animal that have been entered into the system. Now, if you want to know more about that particular animal, you can also click on their name up top here. You'll have the metadata associated with that animal where you can qu quickly edit that info as well. Um, and you'll also see any related data that is along with that animal. Now, if you wanna see what we have scheduled for this animal, you see we are currently in the history tab, but you can go over to the to do tab and see the different things that we have scheduled. Let's say for this particular exam, it wasn't actually scheduled for today. So we're going back over to history and we're just going to add something new. Now from this edition 
button, you can really quickly add any data about this particular animal. Um, for a mare, this, the options at this particular practice would be to schedule an event, add an exam, create an associated fold, or add data about other types of procedures or records. And this is another place that you can really customize and have as few or as many options as your practice needs here. But today we're going to add some exam data. So we're going to go into exams. And you'll have all different kinds of exam forms pop up here. Um, but we're going to go into our repro exams and have this mare cycle management exam. Now, forms can be created and designed as either horizontal or vertical. The vertical view will just show the exam fields for that particular form. Um, but when horizontal options are chosen, the space below the active exam, which you see up top in the highlighted um, bar, the space below that will show a log of the previous exams of this type for this animal, which is really useful for quickly viewing that historical data, which is great for something like a mare cycle management exam, where you might want to see different information from the previous exam. So now I'm going to just quickly go through this example form, um, which is a really nice one because it shows quite a few different examples of the different field types that we mentioned um, and the different kinds of options that you have. So first you see here we've got this date and time. It's going to automatically populate with the current date and time. However, if you needed to change that, you could just click on it, go through, choose a different date or time. Now here we also have a relationship field, is what we call it, um, which will be associated with a contact, in this case, a veterinarian. Um, this is great for like a multi-vet practice where you want to designate who actually conducted the exam. So we could um, just find an existing veterinarian in our records here. And let's say um, Frank Zappa went ahead and performed this exam today. You can also have the option to add new vets from that screen um, or select multiple vets if some people work together or perhaps if you're working with veterinary students and you want to have a few different people on that exam. Um, so next we're going to go over to the weight field in this case, um, which shows an example of our custom keypad. So you see the typical numeric keypad. Um, but then we also have these options for custom keys to be entered. So in the weight option, maybe we want to have pounds as well. We can select those, and then we have this pound button, which is really quick and easy to use. This is also the case um, on this particular exam in the ovary um, fields for both left and right. So you have your numbers, um, and then you can have these additional keys. You can add as many as you'd like. So while these are on, on any kind of field, you can have a free text keyboard option as well. Um, but these predefined options allow you to really enter data more quickly and encourage standardization across your records. So you can only have so many options. Now over to fluid, for instance, this would just be a single option pick list where you can just choose one of the options given. Whereas over here in edema and cervix, you could choose a few different options. So if you wanted a range. You can also have numeric keypads um, with decimals, um, set ranges, all sorts of different things. But these are just a few um, examples of the different field types. Now, our treatment and procedure fields, um, you might want to leave these a free text field. Or um, on this particular exam, we have them, again, as associated um, records. So you can see the record of those treatments within the exam, but also separately in the horse's list of given treatments. The same is true for the procedures. So let me show you how that would look. Click Add New. Now you've got that date and time. And now this is just a um, mare reproductive exam. So for this particular case, we just have a few commonly used um, medications in this type of exam. So we could choose one of these, add dosage information, um, which is just a free text field. Um, route of administration, and other notes. Now, once I save that, you'll see it appears on this record. 
and we could add multiple treatments if we'd like as well. And same for the procedures. Now here we have a different um, little setup, so it'll give us a list of different options here. Now let's say we were to do a uterine lavage, you could either just have that as an option or you could have tons of different data that you might wanna add from the type of fluid used, the volume, additives, a uterine infusion, efflux character, notes, anything else you might wanna add about that associated record, we can put in here for you. So let's cancel that one out. And now I should mention on this particular exam, both the treatments and the procedures have been pre-populated with options specific to this exam type, but these can be a lot more broad. I mean, we could have vaccines put in there, um, tranquilizer options, all different types of things for each of those. But just for simplicity on this exam, we're just having ones that are typically associated with it. Next, we have our notes field, where you can just add general notes, um, which is a free text field, so you can type up as much information as you'd like. We also have an attachment field here, which is awesome for um, just browsing and adding any kind of attachment. So it could be a photo of something during the exam, it could be a diagnostic record, um, it could be ultrasound images, pretty much any type of file that you want to attach and have associated with this record, you can really easily do by having this field on your exam. Now, finally, we have the next event field. Now, this is something that I really like because it ensures that while you're still there with the patient, you're scheduling that next event of what's going to happen next. So let's say we want to schedule up a schedule a follow-up um, task here. Select all different types. Um, if we did an exam, maybe we'll schedule that um, for tomorrow. We can have the date and time. We can also have a repeat. So if we wanted it to be um, every week for the next month, um, then it would schedule those four subsequent exams as well at the same time. You can also assign to a specific um, veterinarian or employee. So let's say we need Dr. Smith to see um, the horse on this day. Exam type, in this case, we're just looking at other um, repro exams for this mare. Also say, do we need to call the owner with the results or add any notes? Now, once you save this exam and save the entire exam, you'll now see all these records populating in the mayor's history. So we now have this mayor cycle management exam, which we just conducted, but also those independent records of the mayor therapy, the oxytocin that was given, um, and anything else that happened to be given separately during that exam, which is really useful for billing procedures and things like that. Now, if we go over to the to-do menu, we'll also see that exam that we scheduled for tomorrow at 11 a.m. Now, of course, that was just one very specific exam form example, um, and we could really spend all day demonstrating the software's capabilities. But for now, um, just for the sake of time, I'm gonna go back to reviewing some of those key features. So now that you've seen how easy it is to enter new data, um, I wanted to go back to that exporting report feature that I talked about because the data that you put into a software is really only as valuable as the data that you can get back out of the software. In Ember, you export data as a report. So this report can either be in PDF or Excel formats and can contain as little or as much data as you'd like. You can report on everything from a list of tasks scheduled for the day to a full patient history, organize exactly how you need for it to appear. For customized reports that you commonly generate, you can easily save a report template that can then be quickly accessed and applied to other animals or clients. So when we saw that start screen earlier in the program, all those saved report templates that you typically use would be right there. So you can really easily generate them right from your home screen and apply them to different animals, clients, date ranges, whatever it may be. Now, after you've generated a report, it can then be easily saved to your computer, printed off, emailed, or imported into another software program. 
Now, once again, the customization aspect of the reporting feature makes endless possibilities for how it can be used. Just as one common example, to the right here, you can see a PDF report summarizing the results of one of those MareCycle management examples that I'm running with for this demo. As you can see, this exam record also included ultrasound images, which can, which can easily be integrated with the exam record, along with many other types of attachments that we mentioned. The ability to report on data in this software is actually quite advanced. So for the sake of time, I'm gonna keep moving along, but please let me know if you have any other questions about different kinds of reports. I'd be happy to send out plenty of other examples that we have. So now that we have spoken a bit more about how the software works in terms of collecting data and creating reports, I'm gonna briefly go over how the software is accessed on electronic devices and how the data is shared and secured. As I mentioned, the software provides benefits in both clinical and ambulatory settings. Software can be used on any Windows 10 device, including computers and tablets. The software continuously syncs to the Microsoft Cloud, enabling seamless data sharing across multiple devices. In most cases, our users will have the software set up on a computer for office use and on tablets for mobile use. This provides value for practices of all sizes. For the single vet practice, an entire office worth of data can be stored on one device, allowing them to access all of their data without carrying around giant binders or making trips back to a filing cabinet throughout the day. Larger practices can also work more efficiently and improve communication between members of their staff. For example, someone working on billing in the office can have access to the, the charges that were just entered by a vet working on a farm across town without having to call and interrupt the vet's workday. A few other major benefits of Office access to the software include the ability to see that data added in real time and reference historical records without having to contact anyone else. In the Office, you can also easily save your reports to your desktop or print hard copies to have on hand as well. Some of our users also like to generate reports from their office to import into other software programs, such as large-scale practice management systems, data analysis programs, or their accounting software. Back out in the field, the software allows vets to more efficiently collect patient data, access, and share data. All of your to-do lists, historical records, and exam forms are easy to reach on one device, allowing you to collect and share data without leaving your patient's side. Now, in this image, you once again see that rugged tablet I mentioned earlier. When designing this software, we wanted to give users the freedom to use it on their own computer or choose from a variety of hardware options. But we also realized that bringing your laptop in the field or using a flimsier tablet oftentimes present similar issues to the paper notebook in terms of durability, but on a slightly more expensive level. So we made sure that this software would be optimized to work on a rugged tablet that could stand up to the challenges of a veterinary environment. While many of our users still use a variety of Windows 10 devices for their mobile data collection, over time the preferred device of most of our users has become Juniper Systems' very own Mesa 2 tablet. So I just wanted to briefly cover why the vets like it so much. The Mesa 2 tablet is essentially a full Windows 10 computer with an ultra rugged and ergonomic mobile design. So this means you can access your email, internet browser, software programs, or even listen to your Spotify on a device that's totally durable and can stand up to your job. It really makes sense to use in the barn environment because it's waterproof, dustproof and shockproof. So literally, if you drop it in a pile of manure from 10 feet up, for instance, you don't have to worry about it being damaged and you can just hose off the tablet when you pick it up out of the pile. It also has a specialized touch screen that recognizes your touch even when you're wearing gloves, using a stylus, or if the screen is totally covered in rain or whatever else you might encounter. Now, I don't wanna to spend too much time talking about hardware today, 
Um, but if you'd like more information on these hardware options for electronic record keeping, feel free to reach out to me after the webinar and I'd be happy to provide more information. Finally, I wanted to touch a bit about the support side of our products because Ember Equine comes with a really unique approach to customer service since we aren't just selling our customers a one size fits all software. Before a purchase is even made, our client relationships begin with a personalized consultation to determine the needs of your practice and determine how Ember will best fit in with your daily workflow. We can also work on a personalized demonstration of how the software would work using your own forms, which I'll get back to in a moment. Once we have decided to move forward, we work together to further build your custom exam forms and configure the software to work optimally within your practice. Our dedicated form builders and data collection experts really make this part pretty fun and easy. Then we don't just send you the software and wish you good luck. One of our team members will actually come out and spend a few days getting your practice set up with the new software and hardware, training all of your users, and actually collecting data alongside your staff to ensure that the new software implementation goes as smoothly as possible. We also work around your schedule to make this step really convenient for your staff. Finally, as long as you're an Ember customer, we are committed to continuously improving your user experience. This means that we provide ongoing customer support, training, and software updates to ensure that our program keeps your practice working more efficiently. So to conclude, I just want to really thank everyone for taking the time out of their busy days today to learn more about our software. I know this was a lot of information to digest in just about 30 minutes, um, and we certainly could not cover all the software capabilities during this time. So please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions you might have. We're also happy to provide references for those interested in speaking to one of our current Ember customers. Finally, if anyone is ready to see how the Ember software can actually work at your practice, you can send me your current paper records and we can schedule a demonstration using your own data with absolutely no commitment. So with that, um, if anyone would like to send in any questions or chat, I would be happy to answer any additional questions you all may have. Okay, so I just got one question. Um, how does the software integrate with our practice management software in terms of invoicing? So that's a great question. It really depends on your personal um, practice management software and what import options it has. Like I said, we can export our data in both Excel and PDF, PDF formats. Some practice management softwares do accept Excel imports, and we can create a template to make sure that that import aligns exactly with the requirements of your practice management software so that that data goes in with um, things like billing codes to go ahead and create those invoices for you. Um, some people that have more of a um, rudimentary system will just have somebody working in their billing that creates reports and then manually enters it back in with their practice management software. Um, but if you'd like to send me an email um, after this webinar, I could go ahead and um, research a bit more about your particular practice management software and provide more information about how our program would integrate with that.
Okay, so we received an additional question um, asking if there's an additional cost for additional users. So we do price the software based on the number of user licenses. Um, so that pricing is quite dynamic. We can do a lump sum pricing um, for the year containing a unlimited number of users or price it out based on each user and how many devices they will be using. Um, but the more users you add um, and the more devices you add, the more that price goes down. So um, dependent on your office's needs, we can um, make sure that that pricing structure works to be really economic for your practice and keep that cost per user down. Okay, great. So um, unless there's any other questions, we're going to go ahead and end, end the webinar, but I will um, send a follow-up email with my contact information if anyone has any other questions. Really appreciate um, everyone coming today and providing your uh, feedback. I hope everyone has a great day.